Hello, I'm Ms. Dubinsky, and I am not only your art teacher, but I'm also a professional artist. And right now, what you're seeing behind me is a snippet of my work that is in Grayling, Michigan, in an international art show. So what I'm going to have you do is critique my work. I'm your surprise artist. So let's take a look at it. So what you have here is a 20 foot long wave painting. I wish you could see it in person because the colors are so much more vibrant. However, videos tend to flatten everything out. But I also have a chainsaw carved wave bench. So I chainsaw carve as well. I know a lot of you don't know me, but I also not only do paintings, but I am a chainsaw carver. So I use chainsaws to create work and I made this bench and I painted a wave on it so that viewers could sit amongst the waves, which is the title for my painting and this whole entire piece. So you can see that the waves gradually get more intense. So it's 20 foot long, it's all oil paint. However, the bench is wood and then I painted acrylic on top of the bench to make the wave. And my artist statement is right here. And it says that waves remind us that life and nature are beautiful. However, the anxieties that we struggle with consume our thoughts and take over our bodies and soul, drowning each one of us. Those are the things that take away the beauty of our life and journey. As one sits amongst the waves, find the courage to seek back the beauty and refrain from allowing the waves to take you under. Just as the tides of emotion run through me and emanate through my work, I realize that it can bring out a wave of emotion and those that see my art. So I had this work displayed in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 2017 and it's an international show. It's huge and I have a journal that people wrote in regarding the waves and I had a whole book filled with everybody's thoughts and feelings and it's amazing to read what people think of my work and what I would like you to do is to really reach inside and to tell me what this piece makes you feel like or makes you think of. It might be a particular thing you like, it might be something that you don't like, it might make you remember something, um, you can write anything. So I'd like you to reflect and really dive inside, think about your thoughts. What is it about the, the piece that makes you feel a certain way? Does it remind you of something? Does it remind you of internal struggles? Is there a particular color that you like? Like be descriptive. Art isn't about just seeing something and say, I like it. You really need to think about what it is about something that you like or you don't like or what it makes you feel like. Just like a song. Songs make you feel a certain way. Art makes you feel a certain way. So the goal here is to provoke a thought, a feeling, an emotion. And I would like you to tell me what thoughts and emotions you have about my own work. So I'm your surprise artist <laughs> and we haven't talked about much about what I do, but like I said, I chainsaw carve, I paint, I do pastels, I like charcoal drawings, I like pencil drawings, I like woodworking. There isn't a thing about art that I don't like. So I like to work in every medium meaning paint, wood, clay, you name it. I hope that this inspires you and really helps you to learn about what an artist can do and what art can do for others. Ironically, my friend Dan, who's also from Michigan, has his military piece here and he just got a huge award for this piece and we can talk more about this later on but he's the next artist that you will be critiquing but there are actually two other pieces to this work he just could not fit it in the gallery so this is the entire piece 
and I am taking the work down today and bringing it back to my hometown. So amongst the waves of the title and please reflect and tell me your thoughts. I can't wait to see what you write. Please don't feel like you have to say a certain thing to make me happy. This is about you. My art is about you, not about me. It's about me in some aspect, but what I really want to know is your thoughts and feelings. Okay. Hope to see you soon and bye. Hope that teaches you some things about art and I hope you learn something about yourself too. Take care.